Well, hello everyone, and happy October. With just a few weeks between us and Halloween, it seems like a good time to address one of the more interesting questions that comes up when we're talking about cats, which is, can cats see ghosts? Do they have access to a spirit realm? What can cats see that we can't? Let's jump into it. So if you've had a cat for some time, you're probably aware that they can experience things that we don't. I mean, you've probably woken up in the middle of the night to see your cat staring at some blank expanse of wall as if there's something very interesting or even very scary there. Um, it can definitely give you kind of an uneasy feeling. I know I've had my own experiences with Wessie uh, about 10 years ago, would suddenly become terrified of his old favorite spot. So instead of going and lying in the bed, he would just crouch and stare at it as if there was, I don't know, another cat there or something like that. And I saw no reason why he would be scared of the spot. And I would pick him up and I kind of tried to carry him over to that spot and he completely freaked out, started hissing and flailed out of my arms. He was obviously absolutely terrified of that spot. And we, you know, pulled apart the bed, looked at everything and there was no apparent reason why he was scared of it. Again, I know I'm not alone in this experience. We have an article published on the All About Cats site on this subject and we've gotten a lot of comments from people who have these kind of strange and interesting experiences with their cats. Um, I'll be sharing some of them at the end of this video, but first I want to talk about some of the reasons why cats might be able to detect things that we can't. So as we know, cats are predatory animals. They're also prey to larger animals. And so this makes them incredibly alert, keen creatures. They're always attuned to their environment and always reacting to their environment. And this manifests in their senses. So one of the first areas where cats uh, are incredibly perceptive is in their sense of smell. So a cat's nose has about 200 million odor receptors uh, in contrast to 5 million odor receptors in a human nose. So they have a much stronger sense of smell than we do. So anytime that a new unfamiliar odor wafts into the room, well, there's a good chance that your hyper alert cat is going to react to that. Another way that our cat's experience of reality is different from ours comes from the fact that they have whiskers. So your cat has whiskers on various locations on their body, not just on their faces. They have them kind of on their wrist and they have them on their eyebrows. And these whiskers are embedded about three times deeper than their fur. And they're able to detect changes in their environment that are very subtle. And we can't even really understand what that means in terms of experience. We can't know what it feels like to have whiskers. But we can imagine that for a cat, uh, any tiny change in the environment could cause them to kind of go on high alert. Another area where cats have an experience of reality that we can't even really understand is in their sense of hearing. So cats are able to hear sound frequencies all the way up to about 64,000 hertz. Um, to put that into perspective, we can only hear sounds up to about 20,000 hertz. Um, a cat's sense of hearing will include things like ultrasounds, so they can hear bats. They can hear tiny squeaks from a mouse. They can probably hear a shrew skittering down the street. And then on top of that, they're able to rotate their ears 180 degrees. And so they're getting this uh, directional sound experience that, again, we can't even really understand because our ears just sit there. And finally, your cat's vision is different from yours. So a cat does not have better vision than we do in every way, but their eyesight is adapted to their status as predators and as um, crepuscular creatures who tend to hunt during dawn and dusk. So one, their eyes are attuned to motion, so they're going to pick up on motion really effectively. Secondly, there's this reflective layer of tissue at the back of a cat's eyes called the tapetum lucidum, and this allows your cat to have better night vision. Thirdly, cats can detect UV light. Uh, so for example, when a cat sees a power line, they're going to see these kind of flashes of brilliant light coming off of those power lines because there is UV light coming off of those lines. So your cat's visual experience is significantly different from your own. All of these things combined, your cat's sense of smell being incredibly acute, uh, the fact that they're able to detect high frequency noises that we can't, the fact that they're able to see UV light that we can't see, and the fact that their whiskers allow them to pick up on subtle changes in their environment that 
we can't even really understand. Well, yes, when we put all of these things together and combine it with the fact that your cat is this highly reactive creature, kind of always coiled up and ready to re react and protect themselves, it makes sense that small changes that we can't detect will cause your cat to react in kind of an interesting way. That being said, we don't exactly know what our cats are picking up on. Maybe it's a mouse in the walls. Maybe it's the sound of a bat somewhere. Maybe your cat is detecting a speck of dust moving through the air. We really don't know. And definitely some people are saying, well, your cat is experiencing some kind of spirit realm. We've gotten, again, a lot of comments from people on our article on this subject, and in the Halloween spirit, I thought it would be good to share some of these spooky stories with you. So let's start off with a story from someone who goes by Willow. Willow says, Our house has had only three owners, including us, but I believe the first owner is still here, and our cats are very aware of this. They've always watched something on the stairs, and they follow the footsteps we hear. The first time I heard the footsteps, my husband had already left for work, and I was upstairs in the spare bedroom. They were so distinct, I thought someone had gotten into the house. I was petrified. After a good five minutes of someone walking back and forth in the hallway, they just stopped in the master bedroom. Me and the cats went in, and no one that I could see. The cats, however, were very interested in the corner of the room, but not in a threatened way. We're now used to the footsteps, and I know since the cats are not frightened, I don't think we have anything to worry about. Several people, including myself, have seen a middle-aged man on the stairs, and that's exactly where the cats like to watch. We've also gotten a couple of comments from people saying that their cats seem to show a special affinity towards the ashes of a loved one. For example, this person says that, I have my mom's ashes in a curio cabinet in my living room. Ever since I put them in there, my cat stares into it and meows and scratches at it. It's very odd. Is she seeing my mom? Communicating with her? Something is definitely going on. She's never done that before the ashes were in there. Another story suggests that this person's cat may be able to detect pain and reaches out to help people who are in pain. They say, so I have a cat named Max. I've never seen anything paranormal, but one time he was sleeping with my mom when she felt a pain near her teeth. Then Max all of a sudden put his paw in the exact spot as if he was trying to heal her. And some other time I noticed Max putting his paw on my mom's neck. She said that her neck was hurting, but I wasn't really sure. So regardless of how you interpret this, it's clear that cats can experience a world of sensations that we can't really understand. I would love to hear about your experiences with your cat detecting something that you can't. So please share it in the comments. I would love to hear your stories and I can't wait to read them. Thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you next week. Bye.